opening in final labels? Kinda pickle, huh? Well, don't worry. We'll play this trainer and I will walk you through how I'm thinking about it, how to play our strategies, and yeah, let's dive in. This is just opening strategies at final table, so this one is going in the mark. So over here, we can see we have 25 big blinds. There is a very big stack over here and here. There are some shorter stacks, so we are in the middle of a pack. So typically, under the gun, you want to be extremely tight in these type of spots. And you kind of want to open towards blocker hands, so this would be probably a fold over here. And if you look at our opening range, it's just 13%. This is like one of the tightest you will see, but it does make sense. It's just because these are the big stack, you open, they can put pressure on you, and these are the short stacks, it's like... Not ideal situation, you kind of want to, so to speak, uh, play very tight, wait it out. So maybe something that is very surprising for some people is that pocket 8s, pocket 7s and 6s are uh, mixing to fall, can play jacked and suited. So this is like, hey, we kind of have too much ICM pressure, can't really play uh, many hands at all. So 7-4-0, that's very simple. So over here now kind of similar there ain't that many like super shorties right but you're still under the gun and you have pocket fives so i'm gonna head and say this is probably still a fold you typically want to have better pairs over here so if you're going to take a look over here sixes and sevens are mixing it's very like a6 and king x heavy uh suited cards heavy open like would you see a little bit off suite as well but like the bears are not typically doing very well because uh it plays a little bit more straightforward to three bet uh, uh game there's not that much like you open people will call stuff like that and it's just 17% uh, RFI. Over here, though, we are the big stack. This is a big stack, but we do cover. And these are, like, in the middle of the back. So this is one of the spots where we probably get to VP quite a bit. This one probably mixes. Uh, if I had to guess, uh, still want to have more uh, plucker hands. So I'm going to go ahead and race, though. Ah! It's pure, so it's 40%, a little bit wider than I would have thought, because it's high check, doesn't really get to go 40% uh, RFI that often, but hey, with a big stack, you kind of get, can get away with that. Uh, something to mention over here is like, pocket uses, pocket threes, again, like, you want to have more like high card type of hands in general, but whenever you're playing like, 30 big blind plus effective you do see these like suited connectors one gappers uh suited cards will also come in and hey if you want to raise 40 percent you can't really get there with just blocker hands because you would have to choose off suite king x which would not be uh the wisest thing to do right so over here we can see this is a kind of ICM handcuff situation, right? Big stack, big stack. Nobody else really covers us besides small blind over here. But there is a four big blind stack. We do have queen jack suited though. So you still want to play probably around like 20% of hands uh, over here if I had to guess. Yeah, that's it. But one thing... One thing to mention if like you have studied a lot of cheap PV ranges and uh, like stuff like that, things do change when there is a lot of short stacks around because you do prioritize opening like a6 because this player will play all in or fold basically. I can go non all in as well. This guy is all in or fold, right? Small blind probably can like flat a little bit, but mostly three bet. So there won't be any uh, much calling outside of a big blind. And big blind also has uh, not not the easiest way, uh, easiest way to play once you open. Because first of all, you're opening tight range, right? And big blind covers uh, has a bigger stack than under the gun player and this guy so big blind is not really looking to play too many hands either so all in all you want to have these blocker hands pairs like with deuces like even with sevens you don't block really any three bets right and it's like 
doesn't do much also if the big blind calls over here out of 15 big blinds well you rather want to flop a top pair because pocket seven is probably not going to be a top pair very often right or or over pair so this is very blocker heavy scenario where you're just opening a blocker hands so this will be folded to us we do cover this guy there is no shorter stacks we are do shorties after a6 typically just want to uh boot it in over here you we often see this type of a range where you are going all in with middle hands and you raise top of the range and bottom of the range that's very standard blind versus blind with uh, these stacks, I would say. So this one is simple. There's no opening with uh, 540, no opening with 860. BBC Brief of Shards and Trainer, the most effective way to train and improve your poker skills. Get yours now. Ace three, we are being covered by these and this guy. So even though you probably want to open doors blockers, Ace three O would be too wide in this uh, spot. I would imagine it will be around twenty percent RFI for high check over here. Yeah, there we go. Ace five O does mix, but uh, no nine eight suited, eight seven suited. Like you do still prioritize a little bit more high card hands. So it's all about like how deep you playing uh, in general. Because if if everybody is short and everybody have to just three bet or fold, then you want these higher cards. And over here, cutoff can definitely have flatting range. Button won't have too much flats. Uh, but like big plank can call so it is kind of like 10 9 suited check 9 suited like this to come in still so 740 not much of a decision for us then 5 suited kind of same ace 9 right we are the big stack everybody's super short so everybody's playing push and fall basically right or like three bet none all in. You open this guy cannot really have a calling range. Like no, none of these players should have a calling range besides big blind. And even if big blind calls, would really love to hit the top pair, right? So Ace Nine over here probably likes to open. And again, we won't see that many like pocket sixes to open in these type of uh, scenarios. As you just want to have these like blocker hands, we do see sixes open rip, uh, just maximum ICM pressure, and we do see 5% uh, all in strategy. That's interesting in general. I guess it's just like effective stack would be around 15 big blinds with uh, everybody. So, a little bit, I did not expect that exactly. But does make a lot of sense. But again, like your suited 9x, not much of a thing. You rather want to have a off suite A6 uh, as that will just block all ins. Then 4 0, oh, simple fold. Then 4 <laughs> 7 4, queen deuce. Even though we are a big stack over here, so everybody is kind of big stack. We do get to pressure the blinds, but typically, if you go and look a lot of uh, button strategies, it is not that simple to RFI more than 60%. It doesn't really have, like, there are obviously spots where it does happen, but typically when it happens, it involves a jamming strategy, and jamming strategies mean, like, 25 big blinds effective, I would say, in general. So, this is 50 probably, 55. 56 like very typical strategy but like you don't really get to push it uh, over 60 in general so just as something to uh know over here so it, there is shorties right and big blind covers us whenever this is the case your small blind almost always 30 big blinds and plus will start playing limp only strategy you might see like up to like five to seven percent RFI, but this will almost always play hundred percent limp. Like hundred percent limping, meaning there is no raising. Obviously, you just need to still fold to bottom. Over here, then five suited, very simple, no go. Same as for two suited MP. Uh, 
Queen 7 suited, we do cover everybody. This is very interesting. But again, I don't think we get to go do crazy. We do want to have a blocker hands over here. There will be a jamming range for sure over here coming in. You want to pressure people because this play is very like short stacked. So I'm going to say this is going to be a fold here and a uh, little bit raising coming in. Hey, so we can see a lot of jamming. You're supposed to be jamming as much as raising to non all in. And in general, need to play like 35-ish percent. And again, like you're jamming your small pairs, like your suited stuff love to jam, off suite middling hand, ace 5 is like kind of a little bit uh, different, but typically you just open top of the range and raise bottom of the range. In this case, bottom of the range would be mostly off suite hands. Well, this is it for me in this video and I'll see you next time. Cheers.